Sean, that's cute. You like it? Little sailboats. Trader. You're not a sailor. If you missed our last video, we installed a new anchor aboard Freedom and repainted all of the depth markings on our anchor chain. After months of trouble and a few sleepless nights with our old anchor, we're excited to have one of the most reliable and consistent anchors on the market, the Rockna 55. But the only way to know if it really works is to head out to anchor for a week. And since we recently learned that you're supposed to name your anchors, let us introduce you to Rocky. So we're in about 50 feet of water, and we're gonna let out about five times that amount, so 250 feet. So I'm gonna look for two reds and a white, since each red mark is 100 feet, and then the white is 50. Two reds and a white all together is 250, so that's what I'm gonna look for. All right, I think here we go. One red, two red, and a white. We're at 250. Well, now I'm really glad we did that paint job because now I finally can remember what the colors mean and I know how much we're letting out. It was always a mystery to me before. We're at 250. Yeah, they were super easy to see. And now I remember. Yeah. Once you do it, you remember. I learn by doing and seeing. I mean, we did have that little cheat sheet card in the pilot house, but I don't know. It's never sunk in until we actually painted it and did it. Cool. Now I know how much how much chain we about. Yep. Before we would do it, I'm like squint and I'm looking. Is that red? Yeah, the paint was so bad before it was hard to tell what what the heck it was. If it was like just a bad part of chain or ashy or white or red, yeah. Awesome. So hopefully the anchor will hold now and give it probably 20, 30 minutes to just feel comfortable before we. Head out on the dinghy. Ooh. And yes, today is the first day of summer in Seattle and I am back to my winter hat. So that's the start of summer. Let's hope this isn't an omen of what's to come. Hopefully it's just a fluke, but it's a little cold out today, especially in the wind. So back to the winter apparel it is. Maybe by July 5th, we'll be back to uh, 80 and sunny. By the next day, right in time for the start of the work week, Mother Nature came around and showed us her good side. We're feeling pretty fortunate these days to not only get to take our home and all of our belongings with us wherever we'd like to go, within reason of course, but also to be able to take the office with us too. Lunchtime? What's on the lunchtime menu? A good old American hot dog. Those wouldn't happen to be vegetarian though, would they? No. 
All beef. All beef. Not a bad day to be working at Anchor, having lunch. And later, we are gonna head out to Manchester, right down there. The real life Manchester by the sea, right? <laughs> Not the movie. Not the movie. Although the movie wasn't too bad, but uh, Manchester over there is actually probably better than the movie. Actually, if my memory serves me right, that movie was pretty bad with a horrible ending. So watching Sean make lunch today is much more enjoyable. Sean, I really hope I'm part of those three people that you like. Well, yeah, you and Sully and Sandy. <laughs> yeah, I can't forget about Sandy. That's the three. Hear that, buddy? We're two of the three. We're one of the three. Everything's looking pretty good with our anchor. We've been here now almost three and a half days. And from the moment we dropped this anchor, it just held. And we chose to come back to Blake Island because this has been our most problematic anchorage. Not only because our anchor was just not great at resetting and you do swing around quite a bit here. There's a lot of current that comes through and it's not the most protected anchorage on the west side of Blake Island, but the anchorage itself, it goes from 10 or 15 feet all the way down to 80, 90, even over 100 feet in, you know, not that far from shore. So it's tricky to anchor. We were always dragging. I think it's um, stone. So compared to sand or mud, not the greatest anchorage. So we figured there's no better place to test it than the place we've had the most problems. And it's been great. We've been holding. Most days we're swinging around almost the entire day and we've been pretty good and the paint. The paint on the anchor chain was definitely uh, a fun, fast project. Hopefully that doesn't come off too soon because I definitely don't wanna be doing that on a semi-regular basis, although it wasn't too difficult. Hopefully it stays for a couple years. And it's so exciting now to know that we can go to anchorages and not be as stressed as we once were because we just couldn't trust our old anchor. Having a great anchor makes boating and being at anchor that much more enjoyable. Boating is also more enjoyable when the air is warm and the skies are partly sunny, because that means we can chip away at exterior boat projects like buffing and waxing our hull. The entire boat gets waxed and buffed two times a year, although Sean likes to tackle the work in sections as time and weather permits. Today, Freedom got so shiny, even the family of deer on the beach took notice. And let's not forget about this little man. With all of the hiking and exploring he's been doing lately, he's getting a little stinky and in need of a bath. Sully typically gets a bath on the back of the boat, but today he's getting the VIP treatment. So is Manchester in Port Orchard? Mexicans always go. There's the Carbon Mexican Steakhouse. There's two that are Port Orchard. Oh, Manchester is in Port Orchard. Who oh, no. knew? None of these places are going to answer. We're just going to go and see who is serving food. Okay, time to go. Looking good, Sean. Can you tell I'm smiling at you? You said that already. <laughs> <laughs> Got our masks, check. The crazy thing is in two days, effective in two days, it's a misdemeanor if you're out in public in Washington state within six feet of other people without wearing a mask. So 
luckily we stocked up because, uh, yeah, it's crazy times, but hey, safety first. Lock up. Yep. Locked up, ready to go. We are headed to Manchester by the Sea, the real Manchester by the Sea. It's actually, I guess, in Port Orchard, we just learned. <laughs> Always thought it was called Manchester. Maybe it's Township of Manchester or something. It's the Port of Manchester. Uh, it's a great stop if you're here at Blake Island. It's a quick dinghy ride just to the northwest of where we're anchored. So if you need last minute something, there's fuel nearby. Um, or if you're just sick of eating on the boat, and want to grab some takeout, it's a good option, especially on a nice day like today. So, by we have our masks, we're headed over there now, and hopefully either Mexican or the Manchester Bar and Grill will be open, and we can have some dinner. Bill is not nearby. Oh, it's not nearby? No, it's uh, good. I think it was like two, three miles. So I stand corrected. There's no fuel within walking distance of the town dock, and it's an unincorporated village six miles east of Port Orchard. So we made it to Manchester by the sea, the real one. <laughs> it's nice, it's just one block up from the dinghy dock, Manchester Grill, Mexican restaurant. There's a bar that's also, I think, attached to the Man Manchester Grill. And that's about all we've ever discovered here. I'm sure there's more to Manchester, but it's all we know. And also a nice little park up here for dogs. And of course you've got great views of downtown Seattle right across Puget Sound. So this would be a great place to live. Unfortunately, the ferry service from here is a little harder. A great little town. When we saw that the Mexican place was closed, we decided on the Manchester Grill, which we had been to before and really liked. And while we waited for Sean's fish and chips and my hipster salad, I had to lecture him on the importance of wearing his mask and how it's not about him, it's about everyone else, right? But once we had our dinner in hand, it was off to the park to dine al fresco. Dinner is served. Just for the hell of it. How's dinner, sweetie? It's good. Would you uh, order that again? Mm -hmm. No. You're gonna get some, don't worry. Mm. Really good. What are you dipping your fry in? I'm dipping the sweet potato fries in your tartar sauce because you don't like it. And I should totally be eating my salad first, but these are really good, so. You're gonna spoil your appetite. I might have leftovers. So a little fun fact about Sean and I. One thing we can't stand more than anything, besides wind, of course, is wasted food. So once again, we are proud members of the Clean Plate Club and didn't have any leftovers to take back to freedom. Oh yeah, and back to Manchester. Once known as Brooklyn after the borough in New York City, the name was changed to Manchester in 1892 in honor of the city in England. This 5.6 square mile village is home to Manchester State Park, a public library, a few restaurants, a pub, a public boat launch, a boat parade on the opening day of boating season, and of course, fantastic views of Puget Sound. Board anchor. We're still holding. Day five at anchor. We have not moved an inch. Day seven, finally pulling up. Happy with it though. I felt really anchored down. How much 
much of our paint do you think came off? That's that's a good question to see how the paint looks. That red was pretty pretty nice shiny candy apple red, so that'll be the good test. It's been a pretty consistent trend. What is this like six weeks of rainy Saturdays? Yeah. Beautiful weeks, beautiful work weeks and rainy Saturdays, but luckily Sundays improve a bit. So I think the anchor did well this week. Obviously a small sample size, just one time anchored. Yesterday we had some 30 knot blows come through and the anchor held well, so that was encouraging. But our tracks show our anchor is was set here and all of our tracks are really sort of equal distance from, from the anchor. Most of the time we spent north of where we set our anchor, but yesterday when the 30 knot blow came in, our boat did go to the south, and that's what these tracks are here to the south of the anchor. So it was encouraging to see that it reset quickly and held us under, uh, given the strong winds. So, so far so good, but obviously it's gonna take more, more times to, uh, I guess, get comfortable and get confident with the new anchor, but we're one for one. No dragging. After six nights and seven days anchored in the same spot, which is a first for us, Rocky is working like a champ. Unfortunately, our paint job, not so much, and my microphone. Here's me saying thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you'll never miss our next video, and of course, how about a big old thumbs up? We'll see you next time.